So much of poetry is like the comfort a child gets from the presence of a mother. But so much of poetry is also electric, like the tension when a father catches a son doing wrong. Inherent in poetry's soothing charm is its ability to char you. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. The final goodbye or why lovers decide to die together. Death, she said, is just another transition. We have made so many in our lives. Our entry into the world to begin with, that jump into each other's arms, every plan shred into pieces in the first hour. Who are we if not children of perchance with sense to know life's potential as a poem? We were both determined and buffeted, sheltered and sheltering, chaos and the stream. But when reckoning was sought to be done, we were our own determinants. Sorry to pass or just passing the burden of one life to the next. Death, I said, is just a warning shot. In the home of our lives, where we sleep in each other's arms, where we clutch each other as saviors, where we have savored the look of warmth, what we leave behind is mist and the clouds, what we have created is our only gift to ourselves. It is time, she said, and I said, it is. Grief is so subservient to living, those who will miss us will already be slaves to life. We will be entries in some calendars, 12 days for rituals, a month to sort out the will, few months to rummage through the old home, maybe a nook which will speak of something tender. Last words, my love, she said. Keep looking at me as we die. Let your look be in my final sigh. We have been compatriots of beginnings, of which we thought there was no end. Maybe we will be every love's destiny, a passing on when there is no real reason why, except tiredness. Procreation is atavistic, but what about death wish? Not that point where a soul tethers at the edge of depression, but the one where you want to end things because there's nothing left beyond except pain. When life becomes a litany of diminishing returns, when looking back is the only pleasure left, and the future can't possibly hold anything more to revel in. Life comes time-stamped for its beginning, but why not for its end too? That point when wishes are empty of their mojo, when bodies rediscover their frailty and are forever at the brink of breaking, inside or outside, when you look at the one you love the most and she looks back and the same despair rises inside both of you at the same time, the preordained fact of one of you being left alone. Shouldn't ethics Shouldn't law allow lovers to die together when they want to? To find their peace just the way they find their love? Why should there be pain when there's nothing left to learn from it? When karma has nothing left to show or showcase? When the only questions left are of beauty created in togetherness and the sheer meaningless of being left alone? There should always be a time to do the right thing. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. Did you enjoy what you heard? Share it with someone you love and follow Uncut Poetry on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, Ghana or wherever you get your podcast from. See you next week.